YouTube, this is Michael, and I am here to review the May ticket drop from the Colorado Lottery. So, one quick note before we get into things. It looks like the lottery is basically doing new ticket drops once per month these days, and according to my sources, it doesn't look like the car lottery is going to have another drop of tickets before July, which, if that's true, that's a little disconcerting. Uh, usually the car lottery has been dropping it, tickets at least once a month, sometimes twice. But, I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, today we are reviewing five new games that have dropped. They range in price from $3 all the way up to a new $50 ticket. So, here we go. What's good, what's not. Let's find out now. And we're going to start with my personal favorite, the one that I've been salivating over coming out. The new $3 bingo, Special Extra Free Space Tripler, or excuse me, Special Extra Free Space Bingo Tripler. That's a mouthful. Uh, it's a $3 bingo ticket. Overall odds, a little high, 1 in 3.82. Um, there's the official listed percentage of payout of 63%. You know I don't pay any attention to that figure, really. Um, the gimmick to this is each of the bingo cards has additional regular free spaces, plus there's a star space, which is also a true a free space, but also acts as a tripler, if you get the, the line, if you get a line with that star symbol in it. You can get regular free spaces and the star free space to win, to get the line for the triple, okay? Top prize is 40 grand, six available. Second prize is four grand, then third prize drops all the way to one hundred dollars. That's one of my few complaints about this ticket is the third prize just bottoms out pretty quick. There's a huge drop from second prize all the way down to third. Okay. Um, odds of hanging a hundred bucks are one in six thousand. Um, not great, but doable. I've done it. Because this is identical in format to one we had here about three, three, four years ago. Okay. Um, 50, okay, highest guaranteed win in a pack is 30 bucks, 100 odds. Um, your odds are a little better of hitting 10 or $20, one in 67. Um, $6, $8, $9, $15, $30 and $30 all have 1 in 100 odds. Um, so, the chances are good you're going to get something good within that range from $6 to $30, but, you know, they're, you're only going to get one of each in a pack. Um... You can see the rest of the breakdown, kind of expedite things along. I'm not going to go over every single thing. Um, your effective odds are 1 in 4 even. There's exactly 25 winners guaranteed per pack. So your effective odds are 1 in 4. The effective pack payback is 160 bucks out of 300, which leads us to an effective payback percentage of 53.33%. Definitely definitely very good for a three dollar bingo okay another reason why i like playing the bingos and the crosswords is they typically have effective paybacks over 50 percent and this one is no exception so for that reason i give it a positive score for a change 5.5 out of 10 i know i've been given a lot of scores between four and you know around the four four and a half mark lately some i've given that have been even lower um, and we've got a couple games that are going to fall into that category this time, but I like this one. It's, uh, one in, you know, it's a 5.5, which is a little better than normal. 
Okay, we're coming up to my least favorite of the group. The also an extremely long name. Super huge, massive, enormous crossword. It's a five dollar crossword. Overall odds are really kind of bad for a five dollar ticket. One in three point nine five. Um, the gimmick here is there's a bonus box. If you get the word huge, you win ten bucks. If you get the word massive, you win fifty. And if you get the word enormous, you win a hundred bucks. Otherwise, you get an ubiquitous try again symbol. Okay. Uh, you can win in the bonus box and on one or both of the crossword puzzles. Okay. Four top prizes of a hundred thousand. Also, four second prizes of ten thousand dollars. That is something I'm going to touch on briefly. Colorado Lottery. I really wish you'd bump up the second prizes available, even if it's only by one or two. Especially if you're also giving away a top prize in a second chance drawing. We'll get to that. We'll revisit that here in a little bit. Um, eight five thousand dollar prizes, twenty one thousand dollar prizes. Okay. Um. You got 500, 250, 200, 150, 100. Those amounts are typical for $5 crosswords here in Colorado. Um, each with their outlandish odds. One in 2,000 for a $100 prize on a $5 ticket is not great, but I've seen worse. $60 is your basically your bonus prize level. And the odds of hitting that are 1 in 3,000, so mm, don't expect to hit those very often. Um, almost 1 in 500 odds of hitting 50 bucks, that's really kind of stupid. Um, your highest guaranteed win per pack is 30 bucks. That's typical for a $5 crossword in Colorado. Um, a little better than the 1 in pack, 1 per pack matrix, or benchmark, which is 1 in 60, uh, it's 1 in 40, so you'll get three $30 winners per every two packs, okay? That's good news. The bad news is they kind of compensated for it by taking away the, 20, the guaranteed $25 win. Uh, that's now one out of every two packs instead of one per pack like it was in the current $5 crossword. Um, the, they kind of gave back some advantage here by making it so there's three $20 winners per pack, but they took away the $15 prize level entirely this time. So there's no $15 prize level. Um, there's four tens and six fives. So when I crunched the numbers, I really was not expecting a good outcome here, but I was surprised to see that the overall payback, or the effective payback percent is also 53.33 percent, and it's 160 bucks out of every 300. So, the bad news is you're only going to get 14 winners a pack out of 60, so that's why the effective odds are 1 in 4.29, which is a little high. I'll be honest, this is not one of the better five dollar games as far as I'm concerned but it's also not one of the worst I gave the current five dollar crossword the hundred thousand dollar four times crossword I gave it a six out of ten score obviously this game is worse but it's not horrible so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give credit where it's due and I'm gonna give this game a five out of ten this is take it or leave it I might play one or two of these but I will not be playing these nearly as much as I played the $100,000 four times crossword. I'm sorry, it's not going to happen. Um, I don't really like the bonus box gimmick, and there's no multipliers, there's no nothing other than that. Not to mention, the name is a complete, pure recycle. They've actually named a ticket this before. So, not thrilled with that either. All right, Colorado Lottery drops is dropping two new ten dollar games, and this is the first one, Wild Cash. Okay, 
And we're going to cover it and the $10 crossword that came out at the same time, kind of a side-by-side -side comparison. So give me a moment while I toss that one out. That's for the $50 ticket. So here's the wild cash. Okay. Both games offer a quarter million dollar top prize. Okay. And I will I will say for the record that there are more crossword tickets made than there are wild cash tickets. Okay. Um, as with all as with almost all ten dollar and above tickets, both of these games do offer a second chance drawing where the prize where they give away one extra top prize, which in this case is a quarter billion dollars. Okay? But this is what I mean. Top prize, quarter million dollars, second prize, fifty thousand dollars, and you have three of each. Plus the one second chance prize. This needs to be four or five to compensate. Okay? It just does. Six prizes of ten grand, twenty-four, five grand, fifty-seven of one grand. Okay. Um, here's the side-by-side -side comparison I want to talk about. Okay. The odds on a hundred dollar, the odds for a hundred dollar and above winners are better on the wild cash than they are on the crossword inferno. But here's where it falls down. The odds of 50 are the same. 1 in 60. The odds of hitting 30 are the same. 1 in 30. The odds of winning 20 are better on the wild cash. And the odds of hitting 5 are better on the wild cash. But the Crossword Inferno has a better payback percentage. Why? Because the cr Crossword Inferno offers $15, $25. It offers those prize level. Um, the 40 and the 45 don't factor into the effective payback consideration, but those are also additional prize levels that are offered. Also, you have a $2,000 prize level that's offered. That on the crossword, that's not offered on the wild cash. So, um, overall odds on wild cash are 1 in 3.64. It has a $100 stack of cash symbol, plus auto, regular auto win, plus ten times multiplier symbol. It is a match the number game. Okay. Uh, effective odds are 1 in 3.75. The effective pack payback is 280 bucks out of 600, which leads to a per payback percentage of 46.67%. On the Crossword Inferno, the effective odds are the overall odds are one in three point two nine. The effective odds are one in three point five three. Um, as I do mention, forty five and forty dollar prize levels are outliers. Um, the forty dollar level is a quasi outlier. Four out of every, every you're going to get four forty dollar winners out of every five packs. Okay, so the odds are pretty good you will find a $40 winner, but it's not a guarantee. Okay. Um, you're only going to find one $45 winner out of every five packs, so I wouldn't even worry about it. You're actually more like, you're actually almost as likely to win 100 bucks as you are 40 So, I'd shoot for the 100 bucks. Um, effective odds are 1 in 3.53. Effective uh, Effective pack payback is 310 out of 600 bucks, which gives us a, an effective payback percentage of 51.67. I give the wild cash a four and a half out of 10, and I give the crossword infer inferno a five out of 10. I think they could have done a slightly better job on the crossword inferno, especially with the odds of 100 bucks or better. But, minor quibble. Wild Cash, just, my biggest hang up is the fact that it has a sub-50% five, sub effective payback percentage. That's my 
biggest hang up. By the way, you may notice I have a little blue dot up here on the odds of winning the top prizes. These are the odds of instantly winning a top prize. Because there is a second chance draw, drawing prize of the same amount, the overall odds, the odds of winning that are going to be dependent on the number of entries received. Okay. Now let's turn to, in my view, the biggest disappointment of the group. The $50 game. The game is titled $3 million Red Riches, or once it switches over to its second background design, it will be called $3 million Golden Winnings. They are the same game, they have the same number, so don't be fooled by the title change. Okay. Uh, it's a $50 ticket. Uh, overall odds, 1 and 2.70. 80% overall payback, but that is kind of misleading because roughly 15% of the overall payback comes from the three three million dollar prizes that are offered. There are two instant three million dollar prizes plus the one drawing. There's also only two fifty thousand dollar prizes, and therein lies a double gripe. Again, this should be at least three or four. And given the disparity in size between the prizes, they really need to make this about like six or seven at a minimum. It's absurd to only offer two $50,000 prizes when you're offering two $300,000 prizes. That's just making the top really, that's making a really top heavy game as far as the payback goes. Okay, at least they offer a decent number of $5,000 and $2,500 prizes. Okay. And look at the odds for winning $500. Bucks. One in 152. That's pretty good. Okay, you're not going to find much better odds than that. Unfortunately, the odds tank for the $250 and $200 levels. Um, it's almost not worth it, really. Um, highest guaranteed win you can expect in a pack is 150 bucks. One in 25, there's 30 in a pack. Um, really good odds of hitting 100 bucks. Almost three per pack, uh, just slightly under. Chances are pretty good you'll get three in a pack, but it's not guaranteed. Um, only one $75 winner in a pack, that's almost like an afterthought, really. And then there's five $50 winners per pack. Effective odds are 1 in 3.34, which is really kind of a huge stretch when you consider that the listed overall odds for all winners is 1 in 2.70. But there's a lot of bleed in each of these four guaranteed levels. A lot of leeway what contributes to this figure being so vastly different. Effective pack payback. There's, 50, there's 30 tickets in a $50 pack, which means a pack is worth $1,500, and you're only getting back $675, which is a 45% effective payback, which is a 35-point 35 35 swing from the listed payout. That's unacceptable. It's unacceptable on two fronts. It's unacceptable that there's such a huge swing to begin with, but it's also unacceptable that you can't even crack 50% effective payback on a $50 game. Colorado Lottery, you have got to do better. I cannot in any con good conscience recommend this game. I give it a score of 3.5 out of 10, and the only reason I give it that high a score is because of the odds of winning $500. But other than that, no, it's lousy. So, overall, this is actually a fairly decent ticket drop. I have three tickets that, you know, manage a score of 5 or better, but only one cracks the 5 point barrier, and that's the $3 bingo. So, 
I keep hoping and praying that the Colorado Lottery is going to come out with some really fantastic new games, and so far, they really aren't. So, my advice is, if you're looking for a good new game to play, give the th new three dollar bingo a try. Um, the two crossword, the five dollar crossword, and the ten dollar crossword. That's a play if you feel like it. Uh, the ten dollar wild cash, I would shy away from, and the fifty dollar ticket, nope, I wouldn't touch it. So that's my verdict for this group of tickets. If you like what my opinions are, if you like the content. Please drop a like, drop a comment. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It helps me out tremendously. Hopefully I'll see you with a new review before July, but if not, you've been warned. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.